This is about navigating obstacles of lies in the mental health care field. And there's many of them. There's all types of lies. There's people that don't even know they're lying because they're delusional. They believe their lies. They believe their delusions. And they, they think they're telling the truth. And then you have to figure out those lies or those delusions. Then there's people just trying out to dupe people, to ha ha, I tricked you, ha ha, duper's delight. And then there's the other types of lies, these compulsions, these, these habits of lies, these things people want to keep private, so they, they lie about stuff. Maybe a sense of belonging comes from fabricating a lie or, or, or some, some sense of entitlement or some fulfillment or something they desire or they want and they can never achieve, so they make it up and say they have. That's fulfillment goal-based lies. But they're all, all those are flavor of lies that I encounter in the mental health care field practically omnipresently, almost always, uh, every single day of work, there's small or big lies. And this may sound like a harsh reality, but it's definitely reality. I, I don't know if it's harsh or not, it's just true, it's, that's reality. And what do you do about that? What do you do about those lies? You know, if they damaging a person's life, inc incapacitating them, crippling, impairing their, their, their life, these lies, every lie does impair your life a slightly little bit. Just, just a smidgen. You, a little lie, you, know, you, you, put, it's, you hold a lie up, you're covering some part of your life up. And then that covering ends up impeding you, even if it's the slightest little thing. Bigger lies end up being more impeding to the liar, to the person with the breach from reality. And sometimes the breaches of reality are involuntary and voluntary. It's even that seemingly simple statement, voluntary lies, involuntary lies. You think involuntary lies are psychotic delusions that the person thinks, I'm, I'm in a bat cave, I'm in a bat cave. Help me enjoy my bat cave, you know? That's, that's a delusion if they really believe it. But then there's the other type of lies that are also involuntary, which aren't delusions. But as people say out of, over and over again, out of habit, you know, lying to themselves, even though if, if they're really confronted about it, they, they would say, oh yeah, no, I know that's false. You know, delusions, you don't know you're false until you get stability mentally, mental stability. And then lies are, are you know, they can be voluntary or involuntary. Just people who have been lying for years about the same thing. If they dig deep down, they know they're lying. But the lie thing is interesting because, I mean, if you go out of your way to like, that's a lie, you liar, you damn liar, you lied about that and that, and that doesn't make any sense, and that's not reality. And if you freak out about that, then all somebody said was just a, a, a totally spurious sentence that ended up triggering you. Aren't you lying to yourself then by having such a reaction to somebody's detachment from reality. That's the way I see lies, is detachments from reality. You have too many of those lies, you get completely detached from reality, you become psychotic. And I've been there. I've, I've been psychotic before. I know what it's like. It's a very scary place. The scariest place. And that's what that goes back to the comfort zone stuff.